Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is the introductory video in my How to Solve a Star Minx tutorial. The program that I'm using is Gelatin Brain's Virtual Magic Polyhedra, and although the program has a lot more buttons than this, I have cropped the video so that uh, there's no distractions and you can just see the puzzle. And also, this program has a left-handed pane and a right-handed pane so that you can see both sides of the puzzle at the same time. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to look entirely at this left-handed side and I will make sure that any time you need to see a sequence of moves, it, it always happens in the left-handed side and you can completely ignore the right-handed side. So this is a Starminx puzzle and a Starminx is a face-turning dodecahedron, so it has 12 sides and the things that turn are the faces. And for those of you that are familiar with a Starminx, the, this is the Starminx 1, that is the face-turning version. There's, there's also a version that turns on vertices, and there's actually uh, two different uh, vertices, depths of cut for the vertices that will make this pattern. And there's also an edge version, if you can imagine this cut line right here, if you turned around this edge, then there'd be a, a edge-turning version of the Starminx. So, before I dive into what puzzles this, or what pieces this puzzle has and that sort of thing, I first want to show sort of the logical progression for the Star Minx um, from the Mega Minx. So let me pull up the Mega Minx here. Um, so here's the Mega Minx. This is a, also a face turning to a decahedron, but it, it's much more shallow cut. And I'm going to show the progression of the cut depth um, and follow what pieces are, are created and destroyed at the different cut depths so that we can sort of get a handle on on what the Star Minx is in relation to some possibly more familiar puzzles such as the Mega Minx or Pure Minx Crystal. So on the Mega Minx, as you can see, if you turn a face, this cut is relatively shallow, that is, it's relatively close to this face. And if you turn this cut, those two cuts do not overlap at all. They just meet at that point right there. So it forms an edge piece right here and it forms these corner pieces. And these centers stay fixed. So you can rotate a center, but uh, you can't actually move the centers out of place. If you v deepen this cut, so you cause that cut to go that way and this cut to go this way, they'll start to cross right here. And so let me pull up that puzzle. If you increase the depth, then see this piece gets created. So this is a, a whole new piece that did not exist on the Mega Minx at all. And the Mega Minx edge has been shrunk. So this is the one sticker on the Mega Minx edge, and that's the other sticker. So you can see it behaves the same way as a, a Mega Minx edge. Um, and then this piece is a actually a Pure Minx crystal edge. And the centers have been made smaller, um, but they're still there. And you can sort of imagine that if you increase the cut depth a little bit more, then eventually they'll meet at a center point. The center will disappear, and, and so will the edge pieces. So I'm, let me show you that puzzle. So here we go, we've increased the cut depth more. So the, this is still the same corner as the Mega Minx, it's just getting larger and shaped uh, more strangely. There are no more centers on this puzzle. And then really this puzzle just has the, the corners from the Mega Minx and then these Pyraminx crystal edges, which are sort of the large and prominent piece uh, on this puzzle. So if you, so these, all these faces meet at this midpoint or all these cuts. And if you were to vary this cut or increase the depth of this cut more, then it would start to form a whole new centerpiece here. And also this corner right here would get cut into. And so it would, it would shrink these corners, it would cut into this corner, and would start to make a whole new piece or two. So let me show you that puzzle. So here's the slightly deeper cut pyraminx um, and as you can see, the, the cuts have shrunk the corner a little bit. They've, they, now, they now cross each other, so there's a whole new centerpiece that's formed that can move. And then the corners are being cut into, and these new triangle pieces are formed. So this is actually a hybrid between the Starminx and the Pyraminx crystal. And so if you can solve this puzzle, which has the Megaminx edges, then you can solve essentially a, a Megaminx minus the Megaminx edges and a Pyraminx crystal at the same time. You know, so you're basically you're solving a Starminx plus more. And then if we vary this cut, well let me show you, if we vary this cut even more, it goes all the way to the corner, 
Then I'll pull up that, and that's the Starminx. There you go. So these large triangles are the same as the small triangles in the previous puzzle, and this center is the same as this, the smaller center in the previous puzzle. But notice that the corners have disappeared. There are no corners in this puzzle at all. And in fact, this puzzle really only has, these are the Pyraminx crystal edges, this is the Starminx center, and this is the Starminx points. So this puzzle only has three different types of pieces, this, this Pyraminx crystal edge and, and then the other two pieces, the, the points in the centers. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to cycle the individual pieces in this puzzle. And I will refer back to generally the, the Pyraminx crystal, at least for the Pyraminx crystal edges, um, and talk about how to solve the, this whole puzzle.